Joanna McDonald, owner of Piper and Sky, a Toronto-based accessory company, has started a new initiative called Safe Transitions. Safe Transitions is a response to the COVID crisis and the pandemic and the increase in domestic violence rates as a result. And so the work that I've done in the past few years through mass production for the COVID needs and the uh, personal protective equipment led us to learn about this emergency situation in the shelters of overcapacity. They're literally every shelter in Ontario and in Canada is over capacity. So there's less room right now for incoming emergencies. It's a not-for-profit organization intended to support shelters in Toronto at full capacity, as well as women, children and youth who are survivors of domestic abuse, human trafficking and homelessness. How it, how it works is the shelters will give us a list of applicants that are longer term that they have built a relationship with. They'll send us a list of applicants that they feel are ready to transition out in, back into society. And we take those applicants to the property partners so that they can vet them in their own, uh, pol you know, their own policies and procedures for incoming applicants. And then once it's all determined who the fit is going to be, we help that transition. Right now, the partnership is with the Covenant House and Toronto Boutique Apartments. They provide temporary and affordable housing to individuals ready to leave the shelter system and transition back into society, which ultimately helps free up beds for others. In, in, a, in a given year, there's 40,000 young people who are homeless across the country. On, and on any given night in Toronto, there's probably 1,500 young people between 16 and 24, or sometimes younger, who are homeless in our city. Um, so our shelter system is under pressure. Um, and so we need to come up with different types of solutions. And certainly one of the solutions that we're working on with Safe Transitions is uh, finding appropriate housing uh, for young people in the community. Um, these units are fully stocked in the kitchen, from like pans, pots, all you need is there. Bedroom as well, fully linens, towels and everything. So all you need is your suitcase. Yeah, well, we started the program about three weeks ago. We started speaking to the shelters and we got an application uh, for a person who needed the space for a full year. We met that person, we ran them to the apartment, we ran them to the condo, we ran them through their application. They told us a bit about themselves. Super sweet person. Joanna plans to continue this initiative well beyond the pandemic and hopefully one day provide this service across the country. In addition to this work, she's also employed a team to create masks and donate them to shelters across the country. If you would like to find out more information on Safe Transitions and how you can help, you can go to their website www.safetransitions.co. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.